Domestic violence refers to the various victim controlling behaviors that can arise within family relationships. Psychological, emotional, or verbal abuse refers to the use of insults or threats. Social abuse refers to forced social isolation of the victim. Economic abuse refers to control over finances to leave the victim feeling helpless. And of course, perpetrators of domestic violence may also use physical or sexual violence to abuse a victim. Generally speaking, men are the perpetrators while women are victims. Although this is not always the case, there are three main reasons behind this. Gender socialization. Men are socially more prone to using violence as a response to problems. Economic inequality. Men generally have control over household finances, making women helpless to leave. Implicit social acceptance. The underlying presumption that men are dominant can lead, the, lead to unsympathetic responses to domestic violence. While domestic violence isn't limited to any one particular social background, incidences of and responses to domestic violence do vary according to ethnic and socioeconomic background. Family violence and sexual assault are reported to be at crisis levels within Aboriginal communities. Indigenous women are 12 times more likely to be victims of assault than non-Indigenous women. Of the 2,000 reported domestic violence cases in the year 2000, 84.8% of perpetrators were indigenous. Most sexual assault cases fall under the category of domestic violence, of which 88% of cases are never reported. This can be seen in the story of Sophia, a migrant in Australia, who had her marriage arranged to a man she had never met. The marriage only lasted 10 years, and during that time, she never left the house without her husband. Each morning, he placed a small stone behind the security door as he left for work. If the stone had fallen when he returned, he would know he, she had left the house. He had given her no money and no access to a phone in case she ran away. He beat her often and believed that God created women for men's pleasure. One day, Sophia left with her young child, and for leaving, she was shunned by her family and community. responses heard by a counselor when asking upper class women why they wouldn't leave an abusive partner. Leaving would isolate them from their children and friends, create emotional and financial hardship and would lead to social embarrassment, potentially harming their husband's career. This explains why these women are often invisible and don't seek help. The upper classes are generally overlooked in discussion of domestic violence as the stereotype is of domestic violence being a problem experienced by those of low socioeconomic status. This video has shown that domestic violence is a problem that stretches across all socioeconomic classes and ethnic backgrounds.